Okay, here's a good little vectors question. Um, and while it is in vectors, you can actually do most of it just from like high school trigonometry, sine law, things like that, rules for triangles. So a, a supply boat needs to cross a river from point A to point B. Here's the diagram they give you. Uh, point B is 1.5 kilometers downstream. So that means this distance here is 1.5 kilometers. The boat can travel at 20 kilometers an hour relative to the water, so that's just the speed that the boat can go. The current is flowing at 12 kilometers an hour, as they show there, uh, and the width of the river is 500 meters, so that means this distance here that they have to cross is 500 meters. I'm going to write that as 0 0.5 kilometers so that we're all dealing with the same unit since the speed is already in kilometers per hour. It says determine the heading. Ooh, little typo there. Uh, the heading, I'll put an A there, the captain should set to cross the river to point B. So in other words, where does he have to aim, uh, him or her, I should say, where does, where does the boat have to aim to use the current to eventually end up at uh, B? So clearly since the current is sort of flowing from right to left, uh, I'm just going to do an arbitrary spot out here that they have to aim. at somewhere to the right because the current will then push it to the left the rest of the way along the along the um, route. So I'm going to write that 12 kilometers an hour, which is the speed of the current there, and I know that this boat can go 20 kilometers an hour. Now, uh, the question is, determine the heading the captain should set. So in other words, a we need a direction for this vector. Where boat should he aim? And we're going to do it on degrees, and you can always compare that to north, north, east, south, and west. So um, we're, we're essentially looking for this angle right here. Once we know that, we can figure out how far off of, you know, a westerly direction that is. So uh, there's a couple ways we can do this, but the, the way I'm going to do it is use this right angle triangle here to find this angle. So in other words, what is the resulting angle, uh, the resulting vector uh, angle that? And that's simply just, uh, you know, you can do inverse tan of opposite, so 0 0.5 over adjacent 1.5. And we find out that that angle is 18.43 degrees. So I'll write that in here. Now, uh, we know we have to get back and, and deal with this triangle somehow, with our, you know, the triangle with our speeds because in order to get that orange angle we need this piece here so we need to work within that smaller triangle so we can first use our rules of, of parallel lines and we know that if that was 18.43 degrees which we just found this is also 18.43 degrees so I can write that in then we can find this angle I'll call it X using the sine law because it's opposite the 12 kilometer an hour speed and the 18.43 is opposite the uh, 20 kilometer an hour speed. So we can just do sine law, figure that out, I'm going to put the A here, I'm going to write the sine law down here so we get sine of 18.43 degrees over 20 because that's what it's opposite equals sine x, the angle we're looking for, over what it's opposite which is the 12 kilometers an hour. The other benefit of doing it this way is that we don't need to convert speeds to distances. Even though the first triangle was in terms of distances and the second one's in terms of speed, it doesn't matter because they're all ratio-based. So if we use our sine law, um, I'm going to find that as x equals 10.94 degrees. So I'll put that in here, 10.94 degrees. So if we add those two together to get our orange angle, 10.94 and 18.43, what's that? That's 29.37 degrees. So then we just need to give that in a direction. Well, if we think about that as, uh, you know, away from north, that's usually what we like to do. So if I draw a straight down, that's north. Um, and if we're 29.37 away from the westerly direction, that means the leftover must be 90 minus that. So as a direction, I could say, First, let's do uh, 90 minus 29.37 degrees, and that equals 60.63 degrees, uh, which is this angle here. So I can say that the captain should aim the boat north 
60.63 degrees west. Start at the north and then move 60.63 degrees towards the westerly direction and you'll end up with this aiming spot in green that we have there. So hopefully you can see how that works. It's just the triangles and sine law. Now the second question, it might get a little bit messy here, so I may, I may actually draw another stream here and just do the same thing. We'll do it in red, so this is for part B. Here was B, and here was point A. So the second question says, uh, where should the captain head to return to point A? So we want to end up here again, but because of the stream still pointing to the left, we, need, we know he needs, he or she need, uh, needs to aim somewhere out here, right? Because then the stream will push it back to this point, and there's your triangle again. So this is 12 kilometers. This is 20, because that's the speed that, uh, speed that the boat goes at. 20 kilometers an hour, 12 kilometers an hour. Um, and we know, what do we know? We know that this angle here was 18.4 degrees, which means using 180 minus that, that this angle right here is 161.6, we'll call it, degrees. That's this angle here. Um, and then we can use sine law once again to find this angle. So we'll once again do sine of 161.6 over 20 equals sine x over 12. And that's where we'll get x equals, that's again back to that 10.94 degrees from before, um, which we would have known again from the parallel lines piece. Uh, so that's 10.94 degrees, which means we can find the third side here. I'll call it angle Y. Third side of that, third angle of that triangle, excuse me, uh, should be about 7.5 degrees, just using the fact that they all have to add up to uh, 180 degrees. That's 7.5, which means this is 7.5 degrees from our uh, parallel lines rule again. Therefore, this whole thing is back to that. Uh, 18.4 degrees, which again we knew from parallel lines because this had to be equal to this. Um, but we really are interested in where is the green one aimed, right? So we really only want that piece, which is that 7.5 degrees. So I would say that he is headed, he or she is headed east, 7.5 degrees south. We could also write that as south, 82.5 degrees east, same thing. So if you want to start with a north or south, use that one. If you want to start just with an east, use that one. But uh, it's pretty clear, even though this is, again, a textbook sort of vectors question because they're giving you speeds and things like that, if you can draw the diagrams properly and start to sort out your triangles, uh, it's really easy how we can use our basic trigonometry skills, sine law, 180 degrees, parallel line rules um, to, to help fill these things in. You can always send us more questions, info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks.